Well, hello there. Uh, this video is brought to you by ByteMunchers.com. With this video, I'm going to show you how to properly install no IP on your computer and also how to sign up. The first thing, just go to the website. It's uh, no-ip.com. Once you're there, the first thing you're going to do is create an account. For right now, let's just choose the free DNS. You could sign up, it's free for a year. The only problem with this is that you have to confirm your account uh, every 30 days and for personal use. And it lets you create three host names. And if you ever want to uh, take a, mm, advantage of the other packages, here you could see them. Well, for right now, uh, go ahead and sign up. Once you sign up, once you go ahead and sign up, um, go ahead and log in. For example, let me log into mine. And once you're logged in, the first thing you're gonna do is go to the home page. You're gonna download the software. Go to the download tab. And for example, mine is a Windows computer, so I'm gonna download the Windows one. Let's go ahead and download it. Once it's downloaded, we're going to run it. It should just take a few minutes to install, or probably less. And that's it. It should be showing up over here. Or not yet. If it's not showing up, um, just look for it on your start tab. Here it is. The next thing you need to do is sign up with your email address. I'm going to sign up with mine. Hopefully, I still remember it. What this would do it it is going to connect the um, the computer to the service. And for example, I had already created uh, one of the host names, and this is mine. So, and this just tells you that everything's okay. Check marks. Here it has more um, preferences, tools. And you can check the if the port that you need is open. If not, you will need to open it. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Once you do this, log into it. Just go ahead and close it. It should be running on your computer. Then the next thing that we're gonna do is create um, a domain name. So we're gonna go to services. Let me see. It's, um, I'm just clicking back to the page that I was here. Well, actually, when you log in, this is going to be the dashboard that you're supposed to be getting. And all you're going to do is go to Host, Redirects. And as you can see, I had already made one. But just to do uh, to create your host name, just click Add Host, and it's gonna let you choose. These are other domain names. What you're actually doing is gonna be a subdomain name. For example, this one. And then just create host, and it's already created. But I'm going to be using this one. Then the next thing that you need to do is log into your um, router. And let me go ahead and do that. I'm already logged into mine. And you need to find something that says applications and gaming. And right here, um, you're going to see this. This is to open a port. 
and since I have a server that I'm going to be hosting in the remote desktop go ahead and open uh, port 3389 if you want to remotely log into your computer or if you want to host your own uh, server you need to press um, I'm sorry enter 80 and I have already installed IP no IP no IP on um, my home server so I'm able to log in remotely and I'm also running a um, website there I'm gonna show you the website and it forwards it straight to my uh, website and this website is being hosted in my own server on my own home so what PC Tech does I'm sorry what no IP does is um, forward this address to my home uh, IP address and then to remote um, log in remotely to that same computer all you need to do is go to our programs accessories and then remote desktop and here you would just enter your domain name that you created and just hit connect and it'll connect you to your remote desktop computer. Once again, this is my server. So um, let me just log out. And that's it. It's pretty easy. And I hope you guys don't have any trouble setting it up.